Hi guys, this is week 26 and I'm using the Citrus Twist Kits August Pocket Life Kit. So this week I'm using a sketch as well, so I'll just pop that up. So this is the sketch that I'm using um, and I'll show you how I use this as I go along. So all I've done is I've got my photos already, they're already rounded the corners and I've just picked out some journaling cards and uh, that one piece of bird paper down the bottom there. And I'm just rounding the corners on the cards that I have picked. And I'm going to start with my title card. So the kit didn't really come with alphas. So instead I'm going to use this die that says weak. So it's just partially cut that piece of white card. And I'm just going to use my trimmer to trim off the other ends. And so that will give me the stripe from the bottom of the sketch there. Um, just the week um, didn't show up very well on um, that green paper so I just need another piece of paper to put behind it. I was thinking about that black one but it's a bit dark so in the end I'm going to go with the red and um, that will tie in really nicely with the bird paper as well. So that gives me the little darker strip um, that was also in the sketch and the die cut uh, title takes the place of the title. So I've just glued those two together and I'm just holding them down a little bit until the glue attaches and then I'm just going to stick that whole piece onto the bottom of that 4x6 journal card which was just slightly longer than 6 inches so I've just trimmed off the edge there. Now like I said, um, there were some alphas in this Amy Tangerine sticker pack but they didn't really go with the colours that I was using for this week. So I'm just going to use my go-to stitching and so I've just drawn out the number 26 and I'm using a wee pin to poke some holes and then I'm going to stitch it in in a dark coloured thread. Now that that's all stitched, I'll come back to my title card later on, but I'm going to leave it there for now, and I'm just going to work on some of the easier ones. So this one here, instead of a frame, I've just used uh, an Instax photo, and I'm just gluing down the little photos that I had. So I, I had the sketch before I printed the photo, so I printed them roughly to the size that I was going to need. And so I'll just use the same red paper to create that same stripe on that bottom right-hand card. And now I'm going to work on this card here. So I'm going to do my journaling. Yes, I'm doing journaling um, directly onto my photo. So I've just used a bit of washi tape to stick that down onto a piece of scratch paper and just run that through my typewriter. It's not perfect, but it will do. And instead of a title, I'm just going to add one of these bits from the cut apart sheets. And that's that one all done. So this card here, the title pretty much is just the printed part of the journaling card. Um, and I, all I've done is I'm going to, instead of journaling, I'm going to stamp a whole pile of these little stamps down the bottom just as my wee sentiment. So it varies slightly from the sketch in that the journaling is at the bottom rather than underneath the title. And so for this photo here, um, I'm going to use one of these transparency stickers actually I'm going to use a few of them I'll use a couple of these hearts as well so all I've done is it's slightly different from the sketch because the blank space in my photo is on the left rather than the right so all I've done is transpose that so for this photo here it just needed um, from the sketch I had a wee banner on the left but again my clear space is on the right rather than the left um, and I'm not going to put a wee banner in, I'm just going to put another one of these pieces from the cut apart sheet. So I think it's fine when you've got a sketch, you don't need to stick to it 100%. You do need to make sure that you're doing what looks best on your photos and your layout. Now this card I'm not going to add journaling to, there's nothing really to say apart from yay my coffee arrived. So instead I'm going to fill up that space with a few more stickers. Now this photo here again, I've done the journaling straight onto it with my typewriter. 
I put the journaling underneath because of the blank space issue again instead of along the top where it would have got lost on the photo. And I've just added some wee embellishments, some wee puffy stickers and another piece from the cut apart sheet. Now my last card down here, it's supposed to have a wee banner at the top and luckily there was a wee banner in the cut apart sheet. But I sort of, I cut it out and stuck it on and I thought it says happy times and this is about my cat going to the vet so she definitely was not happy. And I did think, oh I could probably cover it up with a sticker but none of them fit. So I decided in the end to carefully peel it off and cut, use it as sort of a template to cut my own banner just out of some white card. And I'm going to stick that on and then um, use one of the puffy stickers. And then I decided to do a wee stamp at the top as well, but um, just have to carefully peel off the sticker so I can stamp properly and then put the sticker back on. And then for my journaling on this card, um, the pattern was really busy so I wasn't going to be able to type straight onto it. Instead I've just typed out on some scratch paper, cut it into wee strips and I'll glue those down. The last thing I'm going to add is just the wee embellishments for the title card and I'm not varying the sizes, I'm just adding three stickers. And there we go. I really enjoy using a sketch, it helps with some of the decision making and that just makes the process a lot easier. On the screen right now are a couple more process videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.